They think they're important. Their fans do too. But how important are political cartoonists, really? Are they, as they have sometimes been called, democracy's cannery in the coal mine? Currently on display at the Israel Cartoon Museum in Holon is an exhibition dedicated to the best political cartoons in Israel from the past two years. Political cartoons are today, uh, in some ways, the best, the best condition they ever were, I mean, the best uh, exposure they ever had. Because thanks to social media, now you can share cartoons you like. You know, everybody is exposed to a lot more cartoons than ever. 27 Israeli political cartoonists are taking part in the exhibition. Subjects range from domestic violence to religion, corruption, Israeli elections, and controversies regarding Prime Minister Netanyahu and his family. No one and nothing is sacred. Many Holocaust survivors live below the poverty line. You can see the politician promising to help him, and you see him on the red carpet, and then what he really goes through behind the scenes. People are, are, have gotten very interested in political cartoons lately. A lot of that is because of the internet, because in the old days, you subscribed to one newspaper, it had one cartoonist, and that's what you knew about what was going on with cartoons. Nowadays, people who are interested in cartoons can see cartoons from all the newspapers, from people who are publishing by themselves, from abroad. Avi Katz worked for three decades as a cartoonist for the Jerusalem Post-owned magazine, The Jerusalem Report. Last year, he was axed after the publication of a cartoon he produced, depicting Netanyahu and his party members as pigs in homage to Orwell's Animal Farm. I was fired from the Jerusalem Report over that cartoon, and um, the editor very much apologized, and we've, been, we've remained friendly since then. He, he said he liked the cartoon personally, but he got instructions from above. Katz doesn't regret his decision to draw the cartoon. He also received tributes from his colleague cartoonists. He also believes the latest controversy regarding the New York Times' decision to axe its political cartoons is a mistake. I couldn't understand the thinking. I said, who did this stupid cartoon until I found out it was Antonio? But then people getting all upset about it because it showed Bibi as a, as a dog. I mean, come on. Using uh, animals in a critical way or just in a way of commentary is part of the language of cartoons. Uh, so he put on the, um, the symbol of Israel, you know, which is legitimate, and then people understand it. Walking through the exhibition with the two cartoonists, we get the impression that Katz and Fink are relatively positive about the future, thanks to the power of social media. Now that I do these cartoons just for my own pleasure and for my fans and put them up in, uh, in Facebook, of course, there are no rules and no limits. I can do anything.